Hello boys and girls, now it's time for our reading lesson. So for reading today, we're gonna do a few things. First, we're gonna take apart some words, and we'll start off with that. Then we're gonna talk about the endings ed and ing. We did this a little bit on Friday, but I want us to go over it more today. Then we're also going to tap out some words and sound them out, blend them together. Then we're gonna look at our sight words, all right? And then there's a worksheet that's in your binder that you will work on, that will review reading words with um, the uh sound, and it will review our sight words for the week. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do, those things. We can do it, we got it. Okay, so first I said we're gonna take some words apart. Okay, so what you're gonna need to do is get your tapping hands ready, but remember, instead of tapping first, when we take them apart, we pound first, okay? So I'm gonna say the word, and then we're gonna pound it and take it apart, so we can hear each sound that's in the word. Then you're gonna figure out how many sounds are in the word. All right, so the first word is foot. Pound it with me, foot. F uh, t, foot. How many sounds? Three, very good. Okay, so now let's do the next one. The next word is book. Ready? Book. B, uh, k, book. Very good. How many sounds? Three again. Three again. All right. Now the next word is pulls. Pulls. Ready? Pulls. P, u, u, s. Pulls. How many sounds was that one? Four, correct, good. All right, let's do a couple more. The next word is crook, crook. Remember, a crook is like a thief, crook. Here we go, ready? Pound it first, crook. K, r, u, k, crook. How many sounds? Four, very good. All right, let's see. Okay, let's do the word put, put. Ready? Put. P -u -t. Put. How many sounds? Three. Very good. All right, and then the last one, we'll do the word stood. Ready? Stood. S -t -u -d. Stood. How many? How many sounds? Four, very good boys and girls. Good, so we want I wanna make sure that you know how to take a word apart because if you know how to take a word apart and figure out how many sounds there are, that will be helpful when you're reading and actually putting the sounds together. All right, so now we're gonna talk about the endings ed and ing. Now remember, we have looked at a word. We had looked at, I forget what word we had looked at in class, but it was a word like stop. It had a short vowel sound. So the O is ah, uh, that's the short O sound. Long O, remember, is O. So this is the short vowel sound. Then there was one consonant. So what's our word here? S -t -a -p. Stop. Good. Now, when you say stop, like you can say, oh, I will stop on the sidewalk or I will stop before I cross the road. Very important thing to do. But if you wanted to say it in the past tense, remember you add an ED, you add an ED, okay? So we're gonna add an ED to the end of the word stop so you can say, oh, I stopped at the grocery store, okay? So let's add an ED, ready? Wait a second. Did we add more than just ED? Yes, we did, we added another P. Now there's two P's right here. What? Wait a second. Oh my goodness, you know why that is? Well, when there's a word that has a short vowel sound, like ah, and then there's one consonant, if you're gonna add an ED, you have to add another consonant, just like that one. You have to do that. Otherwise, it'll look like 
if E is right here and there's no letter P, it's going to look like E is magic E, and then you're going to get a word like stoped, which is not a word. So that's why we have to add the letter P, because otherwise it will just be, it'll look confusing and it'll look like, oh, that must be magic E, and it says stoped, but it doesn't, it says stopped. So whenever you have a word like this that has a short vowel sound and one consonant, if you want to add ED to the end of it, you have to double that consonant, make another one. Okay, so let me underline that to help remind us. Very good. So the word is stopped. Now, when we sound out this word, you might look at it and say, wait, Miss Rabido, this word is stopped. Stopped. Well, actually, when you add an ed to the end, instead of saying ed, you don't really say the e sound. You just say the d sound. So instead of stop ed, it becomes stopped. Stopped. You just say the d sound at the end instead of the ed. Okay? Does that make sense? All right. Okay. So we figured out with stopped, you've got to add the extra P. Okay, that makes total sense. All right, now let's look at if we add ING. So now we're going to say stopping, like it's happening right now. Like I am stopping at the stop sign right now. Or I am stopping my homework or something like that. Okay, okay, so let's add ING and see how our word looks. All right, there's ING. <gasps> Wait a second. We did the same thing. There's, there's, there's another P again. What? Why is there another P? There's only one P in the word stop. You know what? I forgot. It's the same thing, the same rule for ing as it is for ed. So in a word like stop that has a short vowel sound, it has a short vowel sound, and then a consonant. If you're gonna add ing. You have to double the consonant, just like we did here. We have to double the consonant. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, so let me underline that to remind us of that too. So it is the same thing. When you have a word like stop, which has um, the short vowel sound and one consonant, if you're going to add ed or ing, you have to double that consonant and make it two. Oh, that makes so much sense. Wow, that's really cool. Okay, why don't we try it with another word? See how it looks. All right, how about the word flip? O, I, P, flip. Okay, all right, so now we want to add an ED to flip. Now, what do you think we're going to have to do? Well, let's find out. So we're going to add an ED, so past tense, right? So I flipped over the basket yesterday. You did a, I flipped over the basket. Okay, so let's see what it looks like with ED. Did you remember? We can't just add ED. We have to add a second consonant. So in flip, the I makes the I, I sound, which is the short I sound. And then the um, P, it's just one P, one consonant. So when we add the ED, we also have to add another P. We have to double this consonant and add another P. Okay, let me underline that so we remember. Flipped, flipped. And remember, when we're sounding out words that have ED at the end like this, when we're changing the word from present tense to past tense, it's not flip ed, it's flipped. We just add the D sound, not the E sound. Okay, good, all right. Now let's take a look at ING. So think about it. Hmm, think of what we had to do with stopping. I wonder if we're gonna have to do the same thing with flipping. We are, look at that. We double the P again. We double the P again. So I is the short vowel sound. Then there's one consonant. But when we add ing with words like flip that has the short vowel and the one consonant, 
we have to double that consonant. So it becomes not just one P, but two P's. And then the word is flipping, flipping. Okay, let me underline that so we can remember. All right, so this isn't what happens with all words. Not with all words when you add ed or ing do you have to add the second consonant. You don't have to double the consonant every time. Only with words that have that short vowel sound and then just one letter, one consonant after it. With those ones, you have to double that consonant before you add ed or ing, okay? We'll go over that more in class tomorrow, but I hope you were listening so you'll remember. All right, okay, now we're just gonna blend a few words together just to review um, the sounds that we're learning this week with double O and U, okay? So let's tap out this one first, ready? So I'm gonna hold it like this, I'm gonna try and hold it and tap at the same time. So you'll just have your hand flat, but I'm gonna be holding this one, okay? So each sound we tap, ready? P, uh, sh, push, very good. All right, how about this one? We took this one apart before, ready? K, r, uh, k, crook, good. And last one for now, ready? S, t, uh, d, stud, good job. Okay, and then let's just take a look at our sight words. We went over these a few times this week. We did some cheers with them and things like that. So the words are after, buy, like I will buy this at the store, done, every, soon, and work, okay? So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your reading worksheet. It has two sides, okay? It has two sides. One side is a review of the double O sound with the U sound. The instructions for that side say, circle the word in each row that has the same middle sound you hear in took, took, took. And then you're gonna write the word. So they give you three words, you're gonna read each of them, sound them out, and then circle the one that has the same middle sound as t, uh, k, and then write it on the line. Okay, then on the other side of the paper is a little sight word review. You're gonna be putting your sight words into sentences. So it gives you a list of the sight words at the top, and then it gives you some sentences with pictures to help you out. But you need to figure out which sight word belongs in each sentence. Where does it make the most sense? Okay, so that is all you have for reading today, boys and girls. We'll go over more of this tomorrow, but I hope you have a great rest of your snow day. Go outside, build a snowman if you can, and um, oh, if you have some fun in the snow or if you build something fun in the snow, send me a picture, I'd love to see it. All right, boys and girls, see you tomorrow.